What is going on guys? Dr. D here from the OneHive 2.0 family, bringing you a war recap from a recent random spin that Invicta had with uh, Dawn of War. Dawn of War is a sister clan to the uh, Fair Play clan Gods of War. Uh, these are uh, a great group of guys over there, very, very solid three-star um, attack strategies. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, Invicta did not come out on top. Uh, we finished 110 to 114. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get into it. So here are the basic war statistics for the war between Invicta and Dawn of War. Again, a random spin. Um, Dawn of War is part of the God of War family. Um, and... That is it. 31 uh, triples uh, for Invicta, 34 for Dawn of War. Uh, props to you guys over there. Uh, very nice war. Uh, we did not have any um, 10v10 triples. Uh, the, the 10s that we did get tripled were done by done so by 11s. Um, I mean, we do have a couple of uh, Town Hall 10 triples down here, but these are actually, um, they're basically 9.5s, so uh, we, won't, we won't have a look at those. Um, let's though have a look at, we're going to look at Adam here first. Uh, and so he is coming with a stoned, uh, stoned hobo, uh, has his, uh, wizard down here starting to set a funnel. Second wizard down, trying to take out that mortar so that it doesn't mess with his, Golems, but now we've got them down. So both golems down, um, getting that funnel set. And as soon as this funnel is set over here, he's going to start working his way in. You can see he's got a double jump. This is a double jump, uh, go to ho or I mean, um, stoned hobo. Uh, the last golem comes down, and king is dead. There we go. Uh, queen is pretty deep here. Um, but it's not really going to matter. Unfortunately, this golem does not reroute. Uh, and this golem dies right off the bat, but uh, very, very nice funnel. Uh, golem is finally rerouting. Uh, CC comes out, um, but uh, golems are in, heroes are in, bowlers are in. Um, everything is under rage right now. Next jump is down. He's going to drop a heal here real quick. I think. Yep, there it is. Oh, no, that's not a heal. He just popped his king's ability. Uh, maybe he saves that heal for his hogs. I was thinking that he used it there, but... Uh, still has not used the heal and still has not used this queen's ability. Um, pours the hogs in over here. Has got to get down this uh, expo. There we go. They finally start working on it. And down it goes. Um, hogs take a bit of a hit there uh, from that giant bomb. Um, but uh, plenty of hogs left for these last three point defenses. You still got a heal spell. I think it comes down right over here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there we go. All right, and that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Adam. And I believe Adam is either a new group leader in Invicta now or possibly a, a Town Hall 9 war general. Um, okay, uh, Terry Teco. I, I don't know if I said that right. Uh, <laughs> We're going to go ahead and watch this attack. Um, oh, this isn't the attack that I wanted to see from him. Never mind. We're going to... He, he had a six-pack this war, um, so we will come back to him. Let me see here. I'm going to make sure that he did triple... Well, maybe he didn't. Maybe that was the attack that I wanted to see from him. Must have been. Um, okay. Let's watch it. Um... So, again, it is a stoned hobo, uh, a, another double jump stoned hobo. Um, oh, that's right, I actually wasn't going to show that attack by Adam, but uh, here we go. Uh, misses with his uh, wall breakers, has a wall breaker fail, but uh, everything is in now. King is in, queen is in, um, both, uh, both golems are in, or all, all the golems are in, and bowlers are in. So um, it is uh, go time. All of the heals now have been spent. Uh, fortunately, has got the enemy queen down. Um, has not popped his queen's ability yet. And this expo is completely distracted. So 
the uh, Hogs are just going to work their way through. All of the point defenses are distracted by these various, uh, by the kill squad. And that is it. It's got a couple of point defenses left, but uh, they're obviously not going to not going to pose any real damage to the troops that he's got left on the board here. Um, still has a Tesla down here that these hogs are going to have to run over here and take care of. Ooh, do they? Yep, they do make it through there. Um, and still has one hog in the bag, Queen's ability, and going to drop that archer up here just to help with cleanup. But that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Very nice job. All right. Pelano. So Pelano's going to come with a clean walk. Uh, Lalo here. Very, very nice attack. He's going to start by setting his funnel. He likes to use his king to, to push that funnel um, and, and then a baby dragon to get, get it on, going on the other side. So uh, going to wind up wall breaking here. You've got this very nice long compartment for that queen to walk right up. She'll be able to get this air defense. She almost gets this one. I think he deploys his, uh, his, his hounds in there. She probably actually does take out that air defense. Um, but here we go. Wall breakers are in. Funnel is set. Uh, town hall is down. Um, there goes the queen. Ooh, man, he lets her get low in health. There we go. Uh, Rage is down. On those healers, Rage is the queen back up. Um, poison comes down on the king. He's still got a poison for the CC. Uh, she's going to take one step forward after killing this king. And the CC comes out. Uh, another Rage comes down. Um, CC is going to be just covered in poison here. Uh, this is one of the key things when you're doing this. Make sure that you get that witch in the poison. Otherwise, you're going to be fighting those skellies all day. Uh, going to have to actually drop, pop the king, queen's ability and uses a rage here. Just let her get a little bit too low. Uh, so in comes the uh, Lalo portion. And of course, he's just going to work it right around this way. Um, gets that one down. There we go. Has a nice pop of the of the Max Lava Hound. Sends in the next hound. Pathing is perfect. Just working in this nice kind of semicircle around the base. Um, brings in the last couple of wounds. All out of spells at this point. Doesn't matter. That last hound is not going to pop just too much health. There we go. Two defenses left that can harm those wounds. Now just one, and it is focused on the queen. There it is. That is it. Tree stars in the bag. Nothing but cleanup. Nice job, Pelano. All right. Let's keep going. Um, Frank. Ah, so this is yet another version of the Witch Slap. Just made a video on the Witch Slap that should be up um, soon, if it's not up already. Uh, so, uh, Frank is going to start here. You can see he's got ten witches, four healers. Um, th this uh, varies a little bit. Sometimes you'll see eight or nine witches with six healers. Uh, four healers usually means that it is going to be healers and witches along the outside of the base used to kind of set a funnel. That's exactly what he did here. Um, ooh, sorry about that. Uh, He's got five witches over here, five witches over here, two healers on either side. Uh, witches are going to take out this air defense, and they're going to set a very nice funnel uh, for the kill squad here. He's got a jump spell down. Notice no real tanks for the, um, for the kill squad here. The king is about the only tank that he's got. That means, unfortunately, that a lot of those bowlers get eaten up by that expo. Uh, as we move along, you can see... Expo is getting taken out by the king. Now we've got some uh, some Tesla towers. They're gone. That's it. And the skellies are just ripping the sides of this base apart. Uh, has not gotten to the queen yet. She's going to come over here. And actually, poison spell comes down. And you'll see here in a second, uh, witches do a very nice job taking care of a queen. Um, she just gets focused on the skellies. And they just eat her up. That's it. Done. Uh, still has one, two, three, four, five witches over there. One, two, three, four, maybe five witches over here. At least four. Um, lots of skeletons, and this base is just done for. Has only one defense left, and that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. 
Very, very nice job, Frank. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. So Chad had a great attack here. Uh, you can see the queen is out here, easily accessible. He's going to he's gonna do a, a hero swap here. He starts setting a funnel with a couple of wizards. Um, Chad does some stuff that this is not a fresh hit, obviously. You can see uh, he dropped a loon up there to take care of that troll Tesla. Um, sends in those wall breakers. And king is down now. Unfortunately, I think he was hoping to get this king in here to help with this queen. Doesn't happen. But the queen comes out. And I think that what was in this CC was a uh, hound, which is why, oh yeah, it is a hound, because he's going to do a, a trick that you see at Town Hall 10 here. So uh, Queen is down. He's also going to get this one air defense, which was part of the plan here. And once that's down, he's going to have three hounds. And you saw at the beginning 26 loons, a whole lot of haste spells, uh, and he does not wait. He puts a hound on every single one of these um, air defenses. That one pops, drops a heal spell right where there are. There's going to be a lot of uh, potential for damage on those wounds. Um, next one pops, and this last one here, it, it will eventually pop. I'm pretty sure at the perfect moment. Um, Chad seems to just have a knack for this. I mean, he's he's a very very good air guy. Perfect moment it pops, and look at all of those loons. I love how he throws that out there. This is a Town Hall 10 trick that you see. Um, drops an archer, uh, lets the um, hound run out there, and keeps that hound away from all of these uh, all of these pups. Because if those pups lock onto that hound, um, one, it burns up a lot of time, but two, uh, if, it, if it winds up popping, then you lose all kinds, of, you, you have the potential of losing all kinds of troops because of the, the enemy pups. Okay, let's keep moving here. Um, Levelope. Oh yeah, so this is, look here, we've got four heals, 31 hogs, and I believe more hogs in the CC. Just going to swap, look at these baby heroes, right? Brings a couple of, of Valks just to help with the heroes. So he's got 20-20 heroes, taking on a base with 30-30 heroes. Kills both the king and the queen. Um, CC comes out. He has no intentions of uh, messing with that hound. Just going to let it go and just starts bringing in lots and lots of hogs. Heal spell. First heal spell goes down. Could have perhaps caught the corner a little bit better there. Um, it might have saved a couple of hogs. A couple of giants come down as tanks and hogs get fed in on these point defenses, and another heal goes down. Now this, this uh, expo up here just takes forever to go down. So, giant double bomb with a bomb tower. Everything is delayed just enough, and they're all under heal. It's pre-healed, so nothing to worry about. He's still got one heal spell left. Things are looking pretty good. Um, has not dropped the skelly spell yet. Just holding on to it. And so I said 31, uh, 31 hogs, but it actually wasn't just 31 hogs because he also had uh, six hogs in the CC. He finally drops that last heal spell. He's got hogs beating on that uh, expo, and there it goes. It's down. Um, takes out the skellies. Queen, level 20 queen, still has her ability. Drops her as far away from this uh, hound as possible. Doesn't want her locking onto the hound. Wants her to just work on cleanup. And that is it. Drops his skelly spell over there. Uh, maybe could have popped this queen's ability a little bit earlier. But that is it. Tree stars in the bag. Very nice job, Leo Velo. I, I said level, right? Eh. Anyway. <laughs> okay, let's keep going here. Uh, Plundering Pete. So, Plundering Pete has got another version of the um, witch slap. You're going to see he's going to start with a queen walk. Um, Oh, correction, he's going to start by setting his funnel up here and then comes in with the queen walk over here. The goal is to get this queen and then, of course, set the funnel for the kill squad, which is going to come in right on this expo. Um, I helped, I helped uh, Pete plan this, so I was pretty happy the way that this worked out. 
the truth is this attack did not work out the way that it was supposed to work out but the nice thing about this attack is it is very very forgiving um, you can really screw it up and still wind up with a triple on this um, th this attack uh, plundering Pete's attack here just wrecked so jump spell comes down king comes down and here comes a whole load more witches along with his bowlers uh, funnel has now been set only place to go is in uh, queen over here taking out the CC still has not popped Queen's ability there we go she unfortunately does not meet up with the CC which is what we were actually hoping for this that was the original plan um, perfect jump spell placement so you'll see here that he, he was able to get this jump spell down that allowed him into this compartment here uh, his king is going to wind up doing some pretty hefty work Ugh, loses some bowlers there unfortunately uh, the bad thing about not getting anything in there with you is not getting the healers in there with you is that yeah those bowlers there's just nothing for them but at this point you can see uh, all of these witches are up unfortunately healers getting just beat up by that air defense does wind up making it through and now this expo just focuses on skellies we're going to speed it up just a little bit here um, queen is up here working on the bk skellies are working their way through lots and lots and lots of witches now witches are uh, unfortunately um, not the greatest for uh, for taking on a, a, a wizard tower if they don't have a heal spell if they have a heal spell they can sit at a wizard tower all day and it's not a problem but without that or I mean uh, without a healer it's it's trouble but there we go we still have four witches left a queen wizard yeah three stars nice job Pete um, Bella also did a witch slap so let's have a look here um, whoop. so Bella gets a little surprised because she drops some witches and three Teslas pop troll Teslas pop um, in with a couple of uh, three um, giants just to act as tanks uh, Queen just about dies there winds up taking out the uh, CC but that was that was hairy uh, second jump spell goes down so like all of these uh, hitch slap attacks it's it's a double jump spell attack uh, Queen kind of lucks out here um, a couple of these healers uh, lock on to her she fills up uh, fills up or fills her health back up um, nothing here really that witches are gonna have to worry about on the edges um, over here a little bit but they heat that healer up he drops the rage there which keeps the the bowlers and the witches nice and healed up again point defense starts focusing on skellies this is going to be a problem because uh, the wizard tower when your witches don't have a healer and don't have a heal spell um, will just wreak havoc on witches and you'll see that's what happens here um, does wind up yep getting that wizard tower down but she ate through like four witches um, unfortunately queen is still up over there though full health with just two healers on her and still all of the witches and skellies just pouring out of this side um, lots of skellies left they're gonna rip through this wall in no time and there we go don't even need to be oh actually they didn't rip through that wall in no time my bad uh, but um, last defense is about to go down and that is it uh, taking out this uh, builder hut and that is it three stars in the bag nice job Bella all right um, did I want to look at this attack nope this wasn't the one I was looking for mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh Reaper yeah so this is a cool attack um, oh nope this isn't the one that I wanted to show he did another one of those. All right, let's see. Let me see here. That's not it. Not bad. I had these written down. Oh, it was Killer Z that did this. So we've got a drag attack here, and Z realized, Killer Z realized, that these air defenses overlap, and this is a baby air defense. And so 
Um, you'll see here, he decides he can send in a single hound on that air defense with loons coming straight in, knowing that they'll take out this cannon, this cannon, and then they'll split and take out those two air defenses. These other two air defenses are on the edge, so the, the idea was king with a couple of wizards is a great way to take out an air defense, and he does. Queen over here is going to take out this air defense, and I just love the way that he takes out these two air defenses. It's so cool. And after that, it is going to be all drags. So you can see he's got nine drags there. So in comes this, uh, in comes his hound, uh, drops a haste, they hit that first cannon, second cannon, they're going to split on the order that they drop them on, and that is it. Uh, dragons start coming down, um, brings them kind of in a circle to set the funnel, um, just like you learned at Town Hall 8 with drags, and that is it. He has not dropped a single spell yet, well, other than that one up there, I guess, he did drop a, a haste, but... He's got two rages um, for either side of those dragons. They just rip through stuff. Um, still has a rage and a heal and a haste. Drops that heal right there. Um, wasn't even needed. Doesn't matter. Uh, that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Very nice job, Killer Z. Oh, and we got a troll Tesla over here. Um, this was a fresh hit. Had he known about that? Troll Tesla, there we go. Slagging those spells. Nice job, man. All right. So, again, um, 110 to 14. Uh, very nice job, Dawn of War. Uh, you guys gave us a run for our money. Uh, not the kind of war that we want to have as we're walking into the first week at CWL, but um, a lot of positive points to take away from this, a lot of uh, really fun attacks, and really looking forward to this season of the CWL that kicks off this Thursday for Invicta and this Friday for 2.0. Uh, this is Dr. D from the One Hype 2.0 family saying clash on.